Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to change this really weird wonky URL, which is currently strange signpost dash one three oh seven oh six dot framer dot app. Framer makes you know publishing really really simple. It's one click and your site is live. But they also give you these kind of by default very strange. Uh, no pun intended, as this is actually called strange, but the URLs are just kind of weird and esoteric and not really the sorts of things that you want uh, to you know, publish in the world. So we're going to actually go into the settings here. Let's actually go back. And as you can see, I'm just kind of learning all this on the fly. So you would change the page title, you would change the page description, you would, you know, you can add some code, you can change the uh, kind of, you know, the image for the a site that shows up, uh, you know, open graph, whatever that's called on social media. Let's go into domains. This is what we care about. And we want to change this strange signposts, whatever that says, to something that's a little bit more, um, you know, branded to us without necessarily adding an upgraded custom domain, which you have to pay for. So the custom domain would be like ian.com let's say if i own that which i don't but if i did you know or you know my name.com or my business.com um, rather than a subdomain which they give you for free so they give you this for free but they also give you the ability to add your own subdomain for free so let's try um, some variation of my name so let's say ian i'm sure that's not going to be available there has to be other ians out there in the world who are using Framer, and there are. Let's try Ian Ross, which is my middle name. And that is available, right? Not surprisingly. So now this URL is actually, I don't know if I have to publish it first. Let's do it just because I'm a little bit ADD and a little bit, um, what's the, what's the um, mental... Uh, neurodivergent condition where one checks the same stuff over and over again. I forget what it's called, but that's me. Obsessive compulsive, maybe. I don't know. I got a bunch of shit wrong with me. All right, let's check this now. And there you go. So ianross.framer.website is now live, right? So we've managed to publish this kind of pretty, um, you know, uh, like landing page for our or me in this case, very, very quickly, and it's customized to the appropriate URL for me, which is ianross.framer.website, which is better than what it was before, which is some random string of just nonsense. All right, let's go back. Let's try one other thing really quickly that just occurred to me. Let's go back to domains. Actually, I was curious. Maybe they won't let me do that. Maybe Will they let me change? They probably will. I'm going to remove that domain for a second. And it goes back to that weird uh, series of, you know, random words and numbers. Let me try, because they also give you these other uh, framer.photos, framer.media, framer.wiki. Let me try Ian. No, not we did. We know that's not going to work. Let's try this. Ah, and it does. Wow. So there you have it. There's where persistence pays off. So now I have my first name, not my middle initial or my middle name as well. And this is actually live, right? So now I have a much shorter URL that actually has my first name, ian.framer.wiki. All right, so that's kind of cool. I like it. It's a lot of fun. Framer's awesome. Having a blast learning this. Uh, if you're interested in kind of joining us and you know playing around with some Framer ideas, uh, you know, feel free to check out some of the links below. Okie doke. Teach what you know. Do what you love. Wake up the world with your work. As always, I appreciate you. I appreciate you watching, and have a wonderful day. Thanks.